So the idea behind this team is kind of to blow cooldowns and uh, switch out. So what I play first is the Crystal Spider, especially into his team where his whole team is crazy slow. Where I could go uh, Brittle Webbing, uh, Crystal Prism, and then uh, Spiderling Swarm. But you know, with his team, he didn't really have any uh, multi-turn moves. Like he didn't have any multiple hit moves. I don't know, maybe the Crystal Webbing would actually be better against that... Uh, against the Crusher. We'll see if we get re up against him. Hmm. I've got this other team here that uh, has got a lot of healing on it, but it just doesn't have a lot of damage. Like against the Quadrari Guardian, it would it would do very poorly. The thing is, is that Sandstorm is such an annoying ability. You cast one spell and it counters half of the strategies, half of the pets in the entire game. You know? Totally negating all dot damage. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I mean, he's got aquatic, so that's not great. Um, 357, is that the... Well, everything he has is faster than my spider, but that's fine. He's probably going to... Uh, I should have gone for the Crystal Prism because he's definitely going to hit me uh, this round with a Conflagrate. Okay, he's stunned. I got my racial active. Okay, wow. That was some serious damage. Um, we're gonna go here, hopefully take weak damage. Nope, he's... Okay, this should still be able to kill him. How did he activate his racial from that? Oh, his burn on my spider in the back. This just roots you. It doesn't actually stun you. But man, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Then this round, I'm gonna go for Corpse Explosion. Which kinda of stinks because, uh,. He takes reduced dot damage. Um, so he's 305, he's 305, okay. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stun him. Throw out webbing. He knows this is gonna kill him. Oh, so he's just staying in to die. So this does 222, okay, this will kill him. It's 305, 305, okay. Oh. This is a coin toss. If I win this coin toss, yes! Okay, gotta do a lot of extra damage there. Yeah, that was, that was really, really lucky. And granted, my fawn, you know, has got quite a bit of health here. And I still have Corpse Consume, and I could have done that twice, so that could have gone either way, but yeah, this is actually a pretty powerful team, and it's not even bad versus the meta. Um, uh, let's see, another team. I don't think this team is terrible. I've seen... Now, I'm not exactly sure what kind of breed I should be running on the RoboChick, honestly. Um, I've got the HH breed in my leveling queue, and then I also have a power speed breed of it. I think I've seen Disco, he runs the SS breed. Because with uh, Overtune there, you can outspeed flying types. So, that's kind of nice. 
go uh, like over tune and then wind up into a pack and do some serious damage to aquatics. I don't know, there's a lot of different ways you could take that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, same guy that we just ran against. Um, I think I have a little bit better of a matchup this time. I don't... Last time he started his middle pet. Um... I kind of want to play in my Twilight Spiderling. And he may just go for a switch here. Just get that free damage in. Oh no, okay. Okay, he heals for that much. I heal for that much. I out heal you, little man. Okay. Yeah, in this case, my webbing is significantly better than his. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of want to just switch right at this point, because I think the next thing he's going to do is go into the Winter Spring Cub, and I want to throw out Stone Skin. Oh no, he's definitely gonna, yeah. Okay. We're gonna go into my chick. Okay. So, um, I think I wanna throw up wind up just to get the extra damage. And then just hit him with Pex with that extra 10%. Oh, this does actually more damage. Okay, this does 500 and... Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll kill... I'll do a lot of damage here. And then I'll kill him this next round. I mean, it's kind of cool that he's playing with, like, super non-meta pets. Uh, I can hit him with Overtune. Not bad. Okay. And then I will hit him with just a peck. Let's see. Yeah, we'll hit him with peck. Just get a little bit of extra damage before I die. Okay. Um, he is way faster than my spider. My spider's kind of low health. I think I could survive. Yeah. Let's see, that does... Okay. Does he go for another prowl? Oh, no. What did he hit me with? Oh, he went for devour. Okay. Um, we'll hit him with poison spit this round. Nice. Yeah, this is a solid team here. And I didn't even do anything with my elemental that round. So. <laughs> Had some serious healing from that twilight spider link. Um, yeah, these are just my Kalimdor pets. I don't think this, like, this would be garbage versus most of the meta. Now this is another bleed team. Um, it's the Alpine Chipmunk instead of the other Chipmunk. And then it's also got, um, the Phoenix, or not the Phoenix, the, uh, Anixia Whelpling. So, we'll see how that plays out. Oh, same guy. Swishing things up. Okay, he's probably going to start little bling. Um, that's what I imagine. I kind of want to just do my rotation on my chipmunk. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we're going to go crouch. It's interesting that the dot itself is weak damage. But the initial attack is strong damage. Yeah. Okay. Throw a bleed on him. Okay. 
Now he's not getting any of the double healing from uh, having web. So he must be learning Siphon Life. Ooh. Oh, no, he is ready to webbing. Okay. So now I'm going to switch. Uh, I'm just going to switch into this guy here. Okay. And we'll throw out this Scorched Earth. I'm, it's a three round cooldown. Okay, so that's not that long. Okay. And then he's gonna do some kind of damage move to me. Alright, uh, yeah, it's hit me with another dot. Okay, I think me doing the lift off here is gonna force him definitely to play his little bling, because if he brings in fishy, oh, that was a terrible move. Okay, yeah, this cleansing rain, which is fine, but yeah, he just ate that lift off. Okay, he may be able to kill me with a couple of water jets. Oh yeah, just probably this one. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be able to finish me off. Okay, uh, we're gonna go the Alpine Squirrel here. Um, I'm gonna go for a Nut Barrage, just 300 and, dang it, so close, whatever. Okay. I'm gonna finish in this round and then I'm gonna throw out my uh, crouch. Okay, here's the coin toss. Okay, well, he won the, that coin toss, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference, honestly. Okay, now I definitely wanna get a bleed on him. Alright, I win that coin toss. Oh, that's super wise. Oh, well. I thought he was going to be saving it for my bear. Okay. If I can get one more... Uh, yeah. That's fine. Okay, so what's great is that he's his is going to expire this round. But he is going to be able to get that shattered defense on me. How hard this is gonna hit for? Ooh. Okay. Well, it looks like Robo Cub is gonna be able to finish him off before uh, 280. Yeah, nice. <sighs> nice little cleanup there by the Robo Cub. Oh man, I'm so glad I'm not playing the meta right now. See what we've been training for. I have finished it. Um, I still want to play a couple more teams before tonight. Now, this is another team. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Where's my look at this? Power, power moth, power snake. I know it's not a very imaginative name. Um, I'm still not a hundred percent sure this is the exact setup that I want to run on him. Like, Vicious Fang might be better. Because that could get stacked super high. Um. His speed is 276. So he will be outsped by most fast pets. Um. So with this beast, let me throw in... My moth, my tainted moth. I'm throwing a tainted moth here. Yeah. You know, Roscoe was saying that he prefers to run Adrenaline Rush over Cocoon Strike. Uh, so, maybe. And then in the last slot, we already have a lot of beast damage here. Maybe I bring in, let's do uh, another fairy. Um, we'll throw my SS Nether Fairy and we'll run dodge. Yep. Yep. Okay. You know, yeah. No, we already have flying type damage. We'll stack the magic there. Okay. I'll save this skull and do two. 
Yeah. We'll see how this works out. Man, it's great to see the community growing so much. Like, with a podcast coming up. Ooh. Well, it's kind of an interesting comp he's got set up here. Um, he does have the Dark Whelpling and the Crimson Moth, but he's got a blue Mr. Chili. I didn't even know Mr. Chili came in the blue variety. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, all right, Mr. Chile. Well, um, I think I'm just going to blow dodge on cooldown because I think he's going to throw it out slippery ice. Oh, no. All right, well, we're not playing against an uh, experienced player because he just went for an ice lance, like, out of nowhere. Okay. This is where it would have been better to be running... Uh, yeah, this guy's like all over the place here. Okay, and this will finish him off. So, that's nice. Um, he's probably gonna bring in his moth. And I predict a cocoon strike? No. Okay. This round? Yeah, good job, buddy. I mean, I really shouldn't have done the exact same move that I did th at first. Okay. This is a great matchup for me, though, here. Ooh, a nice triple hit. Okay, but I'll be faster this round and I'll kill him. Um, we will go for the dodge. I assume he's... Oh. Now, here's the question. Do you think he's running Call Darkness? Oh, he's running Roar. Okay. And just do some nice damage here. Okay. So he's going to have his Racial. So I don't want to take damage this turn, so I will use a Cocoon Strike. Okay. I'm just going to pass this turn. And we'll see if we can't put him to sleep if we get lucky. Nope. Um, my snake has a much better matchup. Okay. Yeah, holy cow, I had no idea it did that much damage even without being hit first. Yeah, this is just straight one-shot him. Man. With his racial active, and if he was going against like an SS Nether Fairy, and he got attacked first, that would be some serious damage. Okay. I like that. I just won. Let's see, edit win record. Didn't you see me win? Yeah, I won. Weird game, not giving me a victory. Yeah, the pet I'm worried most about tomorrow is that Quijari Guardian. Ooh, full undead team. And he's running a haunt user. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm going to just start off with a moth dust. See if I can't put him to sleep. Ooh, nice. Um, we're going to switch into my nether fairy. And we're going to dodge. But there's... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. And then this turn, he's going to throw out that... Uh, he's going to throw out the haunt. <sighs> Who do I want to take it? You know, these guys won't have any beast damage. But my most valuable character is probably this nether fairy, just because the avoidance. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's try to stack this up a little bit. Oh, he's got to be running Unholy Ascension build. Yeah. Come on, Beast Rachel. 
Oh, really? Okay, I mean, at least I'm gonna take him out. And then he's gonna kill my snake. I wonder if Unholy Ascension can be dodged. Oh, I guess it can be. That's nice to know. Okay. Got another round of dodge up. So he's hoping for some serious healing with the moonlight up. Okay. Ooh, I got my dragon racial active. Oh, wonderful crit. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, I'm sorry, man. That's unlucky. Um, now yeah, we're going to switch into my moth here. Too bad. We're gonna try to put him to sleep. No luck. Okay. Um. And that combo right there, that's pretty good. And it's doing more damage under moonlight. I'm just gonna do a cocoon strike, see what he does. What is that? Oh. Okay. Let's try to do as much damage then as we can. Okay. Oh, that is a lot of dots on my moth. gonna dodge yeah, it's nice that he has moves that actually apply still through dodge but I mean go oh really okay all right well oh. take him out here I mean, I had this one in the bag, but that's a kind of a terrible team comp. Like, you never really should put all your eggs in one basket, especially an undead basket. Speaking of undeads, um, this was something I did not know, but they got nerfed pretty heavily uh, with uh, Legion, where it's no longer the case where they still do 100% damage um, in their round of immunity, their resurrected round. They have a 25% less damage than they normally do. So, I'm going to play one more with this team here. Mm. Yeah. It's amazing how Pet Battles levels your characters up so much. Like, really, the Shaman, I have done absolutely nothing on. Um, I haven't played him since I got a free switch to Alliance. Uh, on my server except doing pet battles and so I just use him to level up my pets that I'm collecting and uh, it's gotten him from level um, 90 to 110 I'm excited for next week because next week the continent we're gonna be doing is Outland and on Outland there's some really cool pets we got like the uh, raptor, the cogblade raptor. We got the uh, flare youngling, which is one of my favorites. Ooh, stupid Anubisath idol. Okay, he's got two tier one pets, and this is I'd say high tier two, almost tier one. Um, I'm not relying on any weather effects. Man, you know. A sandstorm team with two elementals actually is probably not a terrible idea. 
Is he running deflection? Nope, nope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sucker. Okay. Alright. Okay, um, I'm predicting either a howl or an arcane explosion here. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, this is where we go into the snake. Okay. And we're gonna do... Okay. And then we're just gonna stack this, because if he's just gonna be spamming arcane explosion... Oh. We'll do it again anyways. I see a sandstorm coming out here. Oh! See, that's such BS. Yeah. Kills me with the sandstorm. Okay. Um, I'm going to come in here and change the weather on him. Uh, I think I'm going to dodge first. Ooh, that was a good call. I did not want to be hit by that rupture. So he's probably... Oh, he's not switching out. I was really anticipating a switch there. Okay. Um, as far as things look, they're looking better for him than for me. Now, I anticipate he's going to go into a chrome... Oh, no, he's not. It's probably the Sons of the Flame. Oh, the Super Bark? Okay. There's a Flamethrower. I wonder if that's a frontline dot. Ooh, this will do a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to dodge. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Well, at least. Ooh, is the coin toss here? Who wins the coin toss? Ah, he won that coin toss. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to. What the? Oh, oh! He used super bark. Oh my word! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. I guess that's an instance where Super Bark wouldn't, is definitely not the right choice. Okay. So we got to hit medium. Yep. Nicely done, team. Oh, that was great. Yeah, I, I don't know how I would have been sitting uh, had I, like, really had to fight it out with my moth and that Chrominius, but really not bad anyway i think that's where i'm gonna wrap up this video tonight um there really are just tons of fantastic pets on kalimdor i really love that um Linica did this uh i think i'm gonna do it for the next one where i come out and you know have all the the best pets and just kind of uh save them as teams and uh give you guys the viewers a chance to go through and hunt what you want and uh, I really think that's a nice way to go what oh, scooter the snail he shouldn't be on here Linica come on man also this toad yeah bile toad he's from Sholazar Basin so but there are plenty of toads on Kalimdor but definitely oh okay I was uh, scared I was gonna be murdered there that happens quite frequently so Anyway, looking forward to tomorrow's stream, guys. Uh, tune in. 7 p.m. server time. 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We will be playing on Malorn in the Orc Starting Zone just outside of the gates. You cannot pet duel, like, right where you start. So uh, get on your chauffeur and just drive out the gates or walk. It's very, very close. Um, I'll be starting the stream at about... Uh, 450 or so just making sure everything's good with sound but uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to y'all later